Harlow Curtis began his career with General Motors in 1914 as a bookkeeper for the AC spark plug division. By 1929, at the age of 35, Curtis was named president of AC and in 1933 was appointed the president of Buick in an attempt to revive the failing brand. Curtis felt that Buick needed a luxury line of automobiles to regain its prestige. In 1936, Buick introduced the Series 80C, what were dubbed the Roadmasters. This 1936 Model 80C four-door convertible Phaeton was the highlight of the Roadmaster line. Riding on a 131-inch wheelbase, the Roadmasters were spacious but not unwieldy. Featuring Buick's proven 320-cubic-inch valve-and-head straight-eight engine, the Roadmasters were smooth, quiet, luxurious transportation for the up-and-coming businessman or woman on the move. New design elements included hydraulic brakes, improved independent front suspension, a slanted V windshield, and bullet-shaped headlights. Inside, simple elegance prevailed. With leather upholstery and the plush appointments, buyers received a lot of automobile for the money at a $1,565 price tag. But with the country still digging out of the depths of the Great Depression, only 1,064 of these Roadmaster convertible Phaetons were sold in 1936, making this example very rare today. Harlow, Curtis, and Buick went on to greater heights, and following World War II, the Roadmasters became Buick's flagship line. Curtis went on to become president of General Motors in 1953 and one of the most respected executives in the automobile industry at the time of his passing in 1962. Today, automobiles like this 1936 Buick Roadmaster convertible Phaeton remain Curtis's legacy.